Greetings and salutations, folks. I am David Engel, a Crossman brand ambassador and air gun enthusiast. You've probably seen me in the forums. You've probably seen me talking on Facebook about air guns, this, that, and the other. I love to plink. So, today, making a brief one. We've got the Flat Broke Air Gunner Edition. Isaacson. Is this on? Not sure. But B3-1. 22 under lever spring piston cheap little wrap around there makes it easier to carry in the backyard it's a long stretch down here and flat broke air gutters big ups to denny mckenzie and the family thank you very much again this is a beautiful platform oh it's got such good heft to it i almost don't want to put a scope on it because the the, the open sights are that clean i mean it's it's a beautiful thing but today, we've got something newish. People were asking for these for a very long time. Crossman heavyweights, 19 grain, 22 cal. They got some punch to them. Definitely a squirrel dropper. I'll tell you what, I've got two of them with these ones right here. Got the H&N uh, sample pack with all the little fancy stuff in it. Eh, they're fun. But I'm having greater effect with these, uh, these domed Premier 19 grains. They've got some knock. So, today, I've commandeered something from the recycling bin. It's not mine. You gentlemen out there with a boss lady, girlfriend, missus, she probably likes her vino. Arbor Mist, frosted glass. Gives 177 a little trouble. CO2 guns, you know, weaker brake barrels, stuff like that. But uh, the 22s, in my experience, these uh, thicker glass bottles, you know, they go down pretty easily. Uh, wanting to see what the 19 grain do. So, I'm going to go set this up, y'all. And, turn it around so you see what I'm going to be shooting at. So, we got a little fire pit right there. Next fire, just going to melt the glass down. Problem solved. Uh, that's probably about 25 feet out. If anybody wants to help me out with a range finder, that'd be greatly appreciated. <laughs> and steel pellet sitting in the middle of a fire pit all right let's uh see if we can get this in the frame there a little dirty but i mean completely undeformed so watch out for those shooting at hard stuff yes folks do have eye protection 3m because i don't play around all right. Crossman domed ultra heavy 22 5.5 19 grain. And very nice. Finally. Now. Let's see if I can get this to Well, I mean you've seen them. They're basic, but they do slam. So I'm gonna go ahead. Always, always make sure you keep this thing held. There is no safety on these. And they're notorious for taking fingers off. So the finger trigger discipline folks and I'm going to switch the view and square off on this thing and hopefully for my introductory video to the air gunning community I don't miss on my first shot bada bing bada bang Oh, beautiful. So, we should go down and check that out, shall we? We're getting there. Oh, 
so this paper needs to be burned off. Can we see where we hit it? Nope. Oh, okay. So I hit it right in the sticker. As you can see, the, the lead kind of imprinted off and uh, spiderwebbed the outer label there. But apparently, just had a metric F-ton of energy to deliver and ended right at the glass. So versus a soft target, that's going to be pretty interesting. So there you go. It's got some power, folks. It's got some weight behind it. Those Crossman 19 grains, don't sleep on them. Anyway, this is David Engel. First video, your Crossman brand ambassador. I know we didn't fire a Crossman, but we do have a fully automatic R1 that we could get to. And we've got an inexpensive Walmart available $15 resetting metal squirrel target to cover too. So it's Western Massachusetts. Not quite spring sprung yet, but once it gets warmer, we're going to be doing a lot more of this. This is your local friendly Jersey Devil signing off.